Hello everyone, welcome to this episode of Connect. My name's Nick. I'm really excited today because we're starting a new series where we tear down real world products and then explore how they work specifically with the connectivity. I'm joined by James Murdoch. He's an engineer on our connectivity team. Thanks for joining us, James. Great to be here, Nick. So it's pretty awesome. You get to tear this stuff apart and kind of figure out how it works. So what are we gonna look at today? Today we are looking at a blood pressure monitor. All right, let's get into it. I see a bunch of wires tubes. Uh, walk me through how this works. Sure. So this is the actual example of a blood pressure monitor, and we've got some diagrams here that explain how it works. Of course, the most th um, familiar part is the cuff, which everyone's familiar with. And there's, we don't have the cuff here, but it would generally interface with the pump right here. I hate those things, the part that yeah. squeezes down your arm. I know, yeah. it's so uncomfortable. So you got the cuff, and what that interfaces with is a little valve inside of here that's controlling the flow of pressure into the cuff. And then, of course, on the other side of the valve is the pump that's actually pumping the air into the cup to close off your blood. So here we show the overall system. Now, how does the system know the actual pressure that's being pumped? There's actually a sensor that is kind of coming off of a T junction of the valve and the cup here, and that's shown right here. So you can see right here, we've got a little pressure sensor that will actually detect how much pressure is being pumped. Now we then on, Using this uh, sensor, we condition the signal with an amplifier, which is actually shown right here, a uh, precision op amp. So that's all this stuff right here. And then that signal gets fed into our SOC, uh, which then does some signal processing or whatever it needs to do uh, to control the flow of pressure through the valve. So it's actually okay. a closed loop system. Okay, so it's using that loop and then it's gonna determine your blood pressure basically. Now, you said the SOC takes that in. Once we have that information, what does it do with it? I'm assuming this is where the connectivity comes in. Correct, so oftentimes doctors will wanna know what your blood pressure is over multiple days. So once it reads the blood pressure, uh, you can interface with your SOC to a phone or a tablet to record your blood pressure over multiple days. And that's why having connectivity is so convenient and so important. Okay, great, yeah, it makes sense. Now. I know that TI, BLE, ships and products like this. What makes TI great for an application like a blood pressure monitor? We have everything you need, first of all, to make this system really cheaply and inexpensively and professionally working in a great way. So for example, our SOCs have the analog front end that you need to actually read the uh, pressure sensor. In addition, we have the uh, industry standard and actually the industry leading BLE connectivity uh, that you can use to connect to your phone or your tablet. Okay, so in this case, the SOC, we would offer an integrated Bluetooth low energy device that has the analog interface you need. It has great performance so that it's reliable when you're transferring this data. Correct. Awesome. Well, that's great, James. Thank you for explaining this. I would not have known what this was doing without your explanation. Uh, this, is, this is very interesting. Thank you guys for joining us. As usual, we're gonna have more great topics coming up, but we're also gonna have more product breakdowns. So make sure to stay tuned for that. Thank you.